Section 2.5 is the rule of Bayes, and the rule of Bayes is named after the Reverend Thomas Bayes. And he lived from 1701 to 1761. And this particular result is so well known that it has actually created a separate area of statistics known as Bayesian statistics and had quite an impact over the years. So here is the theorem. Let a1 up to an be a set of events defined over the sample space S such that S is equal to the union from 1 to n of a sub i and a i intersect a j is the empty set for i not equal to j and I'll stop right there and draw a quick Venn diagram for this particular case because in this case if this is the sample space S then you might have A1 here we've drawn very similar picture to this in the past here is A3 and here is A4 basically those assumptions are just writing out the fact that A1 up to AN form a partition of S and we have seen that in the past. We also assume that the probability of AI is greater than zero. Each one of these has a positive probability for I equals 1 to N. Then for any event B and again you can draw the event B anywhere you'd like. I'll go ahead and draw it down here but it is arbitrary where you can draw it and I'll label it as B with probability b greater than zero then the probability of aj given b is equal to the probability of b given aj times the probability of aj divided by the sum from i equals one to n of the probability of b given a sub i times the probability of a sub i for j running from one up to n now the proof of this result is actually much less intimidating than the result itself so let me start it out in this fashion. We want the probability of A sub J given B. And the first thing you can do is you can write this as the probability of A sub J intersect B divided by the probability of B. And that can be done by using the definition of conditional probability. So that is step one. Then let's work with the numerator and the denominator individually. This numerator can be written as the probability of B given A sub J times the probability of A sub J. And that right there is done by the multiplication rule. And this is not the multiplication rule from counting techniques, but rather the multiplication rule that's associated with conditional probability. Now, how do we make the denominator, which is the probability of B, look like this? Well, all we have to do is harken back to the rule of elimination, which is also known as the law of total probability. And in fact, the probability of B is exactly that. And so you can simply write it in here. This is the sum from I equals 1 up to n of probability of b given a sub i times the probability of a sub i and that is true by the rule of elimination. So there is a proof of the rule of Bayes.